This is my Singer Industrial Straight Stitch Sewing Machine. If you want to know how to thread it, well, keep watching this video. What's up, beautiful people? I'm the Queen Boss, and this is the Queen Pursuit. Today, I'm going to show you how to thread an industrial sewing machine. Throughout the video, I'll be going over how to thread the needle, how to thread the bobbin, as well as how to insert the bobbin and how to start stitching. To thread the needle, you want to start by placing your thread on the thread stand with the thread coming from behind. The thread on the right goes to the needle and the thread on the left goes to the bobbin winder. Pass your thread through one of the holes on this bar then you're going to pass your thread through the top hole then the bottom hole of this bar each time you're going to be going from right to left then you're going to pass the thread behind this hook and wrap it around the tension disc from right to left making sure that it catches on this spring and passes below this hook. Now you're gonna pass it through the take-up lever, behind the second hook and through the thread guide. Then through the hole at the top of the needle bar and now you're actually gonna thread your needle from left to right but first you'll have to cut off the end of your thread if it happens to be frayed just to make it sharp and following that you thread your needle from left to right and you're gonna pass it through that groove or that split that's in your presser foot so to recap this is how your needle should be threaded Remember to wrap your thread around the tension disc. Make sure that it catches on that spring and goes below that hook, through the thread guide, behind another hook, through another thread guide, through the hole on the needle bar, and through the split on your presser foot. Now let's fill the bobbin. Remember, your bobbin thread goes on the left of the thread stand. So to begin, we're going to place the thread through that little white hole at the top of the tension disc. Then we're going to pass the thread around the tension disc from back to front. We're wrapping it around, making sure it goes between the discs and you can feel the tension. And this is where you grab your bobbin. At the top of your bobbin there are some holes and you're going to put your thread through one of those holes and place it on the bobbin holder. Wrap your thread around a few times and press this button forward. You can fill your bobbin while stitching or without stitching so that would mean that you'd have to have no thread in your needle and just press the presser foot as if you were stitching and your bobbin will fill up once it's full it will automatically push back and you can remove your bobbin to insert the bobbin you first want to remove the bobbin case You'll notice a semicircular space on your bobbin case and you should have that semicircular space on the left side of your bobbin case when you're putting in your bobbin. When you're putting in your bobbin, make sure that your thread comes from the back and to the right. Put your bobbin into your bobbin case and pass it through that little groove right there like I did just now and make sure that when you pull on the thread, the tension is not too high and not too low. So it should flow freely and easily. 
you're gonna hold on to that little bar at the left side of the bobbin case and you're gonna put it back into the bobbin holder while you're holding on to that and you'll allow it to snap now to collect the bobbin thread you're gonna have to move your hand wheel forward a couple times and if you happen to have any difficulty moving your hand wheel and it feels stiff what you have to do is press very lightly on your foot pedal once you've turned your machine on you're gonna select the stitch length that you want and you're gonna raise your presser foot Place your fabric underneath, lower your presser foot, and you can start stitching. To remove your fabric, you're gonna basically do the same thing. Raise your presser foot and just pull on the thread gently and cut. Turn your machine off when you're done sewing. So that's it. I really hope that you have found this video helpful. If there's anything that you got lost with, definitely leave a comment down below or you can reach out to me on Instagram at quaintboss. And if there's anything else that you want me to talk about on this channel, then definitely leave that in the comments down below as well. I have a playlist for you to enjoy with sewing videos, with pattern making videos, with revamping videos. Every single week, I post more videos for makers and entrepreneurs alike. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button and if you're already subscribed, turn your notification bell on so that whenever I post a new video, you will be one of the first people to know. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.